Growing up, my father was a pediatric cardiac thoracic surgeon. My mother was a nurse, and essentially I grew up in a medical family. I, myself, and my twin brother, Dr. Chris Williams, were drawn into that, seeing the, I guess, the incredible things that uh, my parents, father, and mother were able to do. But uh, as far as I can remember, I've always wanted to go into surgery. I was captured by plastic surgery, plastic and reconstructive surgery early on, mainly because of the cool pictures uh, that you could see uh, of people before and after. Military people who had had tremendous wounds, battle scars, blast injuries, who had been reconstructed over the years by some of the early uh, fathers of plastic surgery and how they were able to literally rebuild uh, parts of people that uh, they didn't have anymore. So I trained um, in general reconstructive surgery uh, at Vanderbilt University uh, for five years, uh, finished my residency program there, uh, and even actually got my board certification in general surgery. I was actually certainly able to take out your colon or take out your gallbladder or um, fix your hernia um, and even you know take out a kidney or two. Uh, and so I finished that training but knew immediately that I was going to go into plastic and reconstructive surgery. So then I completed um, two years of plastic surgery training at um, University of Alabama uh, with uh, Louis Vasquez and his team. I really came to the conclusion that I wanted to have an area where I was really good at, um, an area that I could really focus on, really study, uh, and really become sort of an expert, uh, at least in the region, uh, in that particular field. It happened to be that um, he lived in Baltimore, Maryland. I had done my medical school in Baltimore, Maryland. My twin brother, Chris Williams, was actually a resident in Baltimore, Maryland at the time at Johns Hopkins. I met my wife in Baltimore, Maryland. I called and inquired about the fellowship. Dr. Lee Dellum invited me down to uh, Baltimore to meet him and to see what he does. I was totally shocked that I walked into this place and saw an entire branch of plastic reconstructive surgery that I had had very little, if hardly any, exposure to. Patients who'd been all over the country looking for answers to problems for foot pain and hand pain and breast pain and knee pain and abdominal wall pain and headaches and and we had never once talked about these problems except maybe how do you repair a laceration of your finger. When I went home from that interview, I was, I mean, my mind was blown. I went back in that very week, that very same week, uh, I was working at the VA, at the um, Birmingham VA, and I had a gentleman walk in my door who had a toe amputation. And that gentleman had horrific pain, horrific pain in his foot. I immediately emailed Lee Dellen uh, about this person. I sent photographs and drawings, and I spent hours with that patient. And Dr. Dellen, at the time, spent a long time responding back and forth to my emails, sending me suggestions and recommendations and thoughts and ideas. And I brought that patient back several times, did some nerve blocks for him, and was able to actually work through that to get that patient significantly and better. And that literally was the start of my peripheral nerve surgery career, was the VA hospital, Birmingham, Alabama, with a veteran who had a big toe amputation. That just blew my mind. It was literally the hook, line, sinker. Uh, I'm going to Baltimore. Uh, I'm going to you know, spend a year with uh, Lee Dellen doing nothing but peripheral nerve surgery. 